Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple hours here. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big videographer, so I didn't have the camera set up. I didn't want to do like double speed or anything like that. So this way at least I can kind of lay it out and, and show you as I go along. I did get the uh, the bow mount or I guess bow plate put on. Uh, and this is why, I mean, if you see all the OSB and scrap wood and everything else, don't mind that. No, I will not be using that. Uh, it's just for templates. It's Nothing's worse than, than damaging a, an expensive piece of uh, marine grade or, or pressure treated as you go through. Everything else worked really well here, but this is exactly why I do templates. Uh, I do want to have all of these sections removed. So this section, this section, this section. I do want to have that all that is removable just in case for some reason uh, I do need to access something or something does rot or break. Um, this way at least I have the access to do so. Nothing's worse than permanently doing it and then having an absolute terrible time trying to get it all out. So in general, like I said, the reason why I like to do templates as well is this is one of the big reasons. When I built this, I was like, okay, well, I'll just put another board here. I'll carpet it all to make it look really nice. But the hard part about that is then I can't really access anything underneath. So I do want to have a removal front panel here as well. So this did turn out really well. Like it, it's very, very flush with the, the actual uh, U-channel. This is super strong. I stood on it. I had my... Um, my bow mount uh, uh, trolling motor on there and stood on it, it barely flexed. I will be putting two brackets in here for where I want to put the doors. So I mean that's going to give a little bit more rigidity uh, to that as well. So I'm just going to move something out of the way here. So in general, like I said, I definitely should have put uh, another inch uh, longer over here. That way it's, it's a full plate. This can permanently stay here. Uh, you know, I won't ever have to mess with that. If I need to, I can always access this panel if I, uh, in the future. And that's something I'm going to be redoing when I actually do it as well. So this one chunk just keeps falling, falling away. That's actually going to be attached. This section here will actually be attached to this front piece. And then, of course, riveted through here. And then you're going to have your rivets on the back. Uh, I do have some other access panels that are going to be going in between these two squares. One is going to be kind of a, a kind of like a day box. Uh, the other one I do wouldn't mind making like a cooler for drinks and stuff like that as well. Nothing's worse than when you're you're on the water and it's really hot. Uh, always bring water with you as well. A lot of these other sections, these open sections here, are going to be filled with styrofoam. Uh, buoyancy is key. Uh, you know, it's one of those where anytime you put additional weight, uh, you just want to make sure you're going to be safe on the water as well. So that's going to be finishing up today. Uh, I'm going to finish all that up. I may do another video to kind of show you the, the final product in that. The other thing I've, I kind of decided is if you look, uh, I do actually have an insert that kind of goes all the way, all the way to the back. And I also have one on this side as well. Of course, that's part of the boat framing. Now, I mean, don't mind the gold. I use this for a different project. It is a, a one inch um, in, internal diameter, about an inch and a quarter outside. This is a little bit thicker than what I'm going to be using. But in general, this is going to sit inside of this um, inside of this channel. And it's going to be, be used for a chase for all my money. So I do want to have, uh, like I said, I, uh, somewhere around here, maybe on this front here, uh, that's where I want to put the USB, um, a little USB module I made for, you know, anyone on the front if they need to charge their phone or anything else, they actually have that access there. Uh, then of course, uh, trolling motor, I'm going to have my, uh, or trolling motor, I'm going to have my switches and stuff up here. Then I'm going to have everything run back. Usually right here is where I have uh, kind of my control panel uh, that I may modify as well. I wouldn't mind doing something maybe on the back uh, on the corner. Uh, that's going to be a little bit a little bit later of course. Wiring can always be done and that's why it's always nice to to do the removable panels. So in general like I said don't don't mind the mess don't mind it's all kind of shifting out of place as I'm bumping the boat here but everything's turning out pretty good my templates are starting to come together. Um, you know, it is Manitoba and I heard uh, it's supposed to have an absolute snowstorm. It's Sunday today. I think snowstorm's supposed to roll in either tonight or tomorrow. I mean, right now, it's super nice. Uh, we can't complain. Like, it's it's March and uh, I'm working on the boat. So, you know, it's one of those where hopefully, hopefully I'll get enough time to kind of get this all stabilized. At least put the brace supports and get that flooring in. So uh, when it does get uh, a little bit snowy out, I can start doing some carpeting. Other than that, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be rebuilding stuff. I got to go get a little bit more uh, scrap wood so I can make my final cut on my my bow uh, my bow plate there. So other than that, like I said, uh, if you have any questions, leave the questions on the comments below. I'll definitely see what I can do to answer uh, or maybe take some other video about how I did certain things. 
I will be doing a little bit more um, videos on this this front plate here, uh, just more or less because I do have, uh, you know, it is only a 12 foot, so I'm gonna have my seat here, uh, secondary seat here. I don't think I'm gonna put a seat there, uh, but I guess someone could sit on there if I'm doing it. I, this is only a three person boat. Uh, it is super, super wide. I mean, these smoker crafts are, are quite impressive how, how wide these are. For being a 12, 12 foot, um, I'm actually very, very impressed with the room that's inside of this thing. So, uh, in general, like I said, I'll, I'll get going on that. Uh, hopefully, I'll get this all secured before the, the snow comes. I'm probably going to do a little bit of cleanup just in case it comes a little quicker than I expect. Uh, but other than that, like I say, keep, uh, keep checking out the channel. I'll be posting new videos uh, here and there. Uh, I don't do a lot of editing, so it's just going to be raw, straight video, mostly of me talking, and that can be very, very boring. Uh, but like I said, leave comments in, in the um, comment section below if you have any and I can always do separate videos and I'll just put them in piece by piece. Uh, I would love to do one huge like, you know, 30 minute video and splice and edit. I just, that's just not something I do. So unfortunately, if you just go through section and section, I'll kind of label each video uh, what it kind of entitles. It's of course in the description as well. But so far, uh, like I said, this is, this is what I have done and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get some more done soon.